Hey, what's up guys? How's everyone doing? Time back to show some cool records um, before I file them away. Um, yeah, it's about time I got a nice stack building up, so I figure I'd try to come on sooner than later this time. Um, yeah, I've been picking up a lot, both online and uh, locally, so I think I might have shown some of these already before, but I don't remember. Some of them already filed away, so Let's just get into it. First up, been after this record for a long time. Harold McNair, The Fence, um, Jamaican born uh, artist, flute player. Um, but basically, I think he's known as a British player, even though he's Jamaican. He mainly played with a lot of British cats. Um, but very nice mix of like hard bop, post bop, some Caribbean and Latin flavors on here. Um, funky, jammy version of Scarborough Fair, too interesting. Um, Steve Winwood is on this as well, um, playing organ all over this thing, so really cool though. Definitely recommend it if you can find it. Um, kind of interesting cover. There's supposed to be a balloon right here that you can blow up, but unfortunately it's usually missing. It's missing uh, in mine, so it would probably be very crusty and uh, hard at this point. But anyway, really cool to have on BC or BNC Records. Nothing about that label, but very cool from 1970. Um, UK Jazz. Highly recommend this. Any Harold McNair, really, I highly recommend, but stuff's pretty hard to find. A Black Jazz I've been seeking out forever. Couldn't find this um, anywhere. Henry Franklin, Skipper at Home. Um, well, at least I couldn't find it for a good price, so. Finally found two copies. Of course, usually how it goes, right? Back to back. Um, one has already been traded away, unfortunately. Sorry, but easy come, easy go. And this one I kept better, too. They both had stickers and they were radio station copies radio station copies so but both white label promos very cool um sleeves little beat but the record is very nice but fantastic as you can imagine from soul jazz you know this record very nice soul jazz with nice grooves um very very tight ensemble playing work basically the same crew from the same the skipper record um yeah just check this out i don't know if you don't know it just go check it out yourself Soul Jet, or uh, Black Jazz never really disappoints, so, in my opinion at least, and Henry Franklin has some of the best stuff on the label, in my opinion, so definitely happy to have this one finally. Another huge, huge want list item, um, didn't think I'd be getting this for a while, but this is Free Jazz by Francois Tusks, I believe it's how you pronounce it, 1965, on the Discs, modal, discos, modal, I don't know how to say that. That label right there. Um, fantastic record. Very uh, important record, in my opinion. Especially when it was recorded in 1965. Kind of the coin. I don't want to say he coined the term free jazz, but it was very prominent in uh, pushing it forward, I think. Um, this was recorded at a perfect time. Kind of paved the way for all the American musicians to come to Paris and record all the BYG stuff was going on at the time. And just maybe even a little bit later, but... Very cool, sort of a nice mix of like spiritual, improvised, and avant-garde music. Um, fantastic, just check it out. This has been reissued actually with a couple bonus tracks and I have the reissue as well because I want to hear the bonus tracks that were never released, but this comes with a cool insert, which is hard to find enough, but especially with the insert, so very cool. Sort of pamphlet there. Um, yeah, just check it out, just such a good record, can't say enough good stuff about it. Um, one of the best free jazz records, or just jazz records in period, in my opinion. Um, if you don't know it, definitely check it out. and Grab the reissue if you can. It's definitely uh, pretty easy to find and relatively cheap compared to that, though. Andy Bay, Experience and Judgment. I think I might have shown this in the past. Um, spiritual, spacey, funky jazz. Um, jazz vocals, which I'm not usually into, but these aren't traditional jazz vocals. It just works very well. Atlantic, so I think I sold that. So, um, this is one that I traded the um, other Henry Franklin for um, Malik Yakub Yakub Speaks Volume One. Um, pretty far out kind of jazz stuff here. Um, very interesting record, as far as I know, his only record where I found sort of a one-off, sort of a private pressing 
liner notes are written in like four different languages, Arabic, French, Japanese, or maybe five, Chinese, Tagalog, um, and it, the inside liner notes kind of tell all about his history from um, his time doing prison time for trying to smuggle drugs into the country that he was going to use for religious ceremonies, but yeah, obviously the U.S. isn't as open-minded as some other countries, so he had to do some time for that. In the, I believe it was the 70s, as soon as he got out, he recorded this record, so... Um, very, very cool though. Definitely highly recommend checking this out. Just an interesting piece for sure. Um, and the liner notes, it says there's a volume two as well for a donation of a cool thousand dollars. So I don't think that was ever released, but um, yeah, I don't know. Back when he was coming up, he was going to be the next Charlie Parker, people were saying. Kind of kind of crazy, but oh, by the way, this, this record was a donation of only $20 back in the day, so that was a thousand. Kind of interesting, but I don't know. Interesting record nonetheless. Um, Malik Yakub, just some really cool spiritual is jazz, I guess. Just check it out. It's on YouTube. But happy to have this. I've always, always been intrigued by this just because it's pretty rare and just interesting cover and everything about it. It's just cool. So it's one of those records that always intrigued me. Always on the want list. Um, so this is actually a new record. Actually, listen to this in the background. Probably can't hear it, but very cool. Craig Kilby, Satori. This came out 2001, I want to say. Or 2021, sorry. 20, not 2001. 2021, last year, on Just Us Records. Um, basically, a record like 30 years in the making. Um, a classically trained trombonist and pianist. Um, soul, jazz, funk. Played in 1970s California um, with Benny Maupin, um, a group called Dynasty. I know he traveled and toured with Etta James and The Whispers, so very cool. Um, but I guess he re started recording this um, back in the day and just finally finished it and put it out. But very cool. Um, spacey funk goodness. I don't know how else to describe it. I don't buy a lot of uh, newer stuff. But this is really cool, and I guess it's not completely new because he's been recording it for a while, but still. Um, Satori, Craig Kilby, very cool. These are pretty readily available, I think. Francois Juno, um, I believe he played on the other free jazz record, the other French free jazz record I showed earlier. Um, just great French free jazz, sort of reminiscent of like the best parts of. ECM with like synth and some nice flute work going on, just really cool. Um, this is one of the, his last good records, in my opinion, kind of went downhill after this. Started doing more kind of smooth jazz stuff and just, I don't know, wasn't really feeling it, but this is still fantastic. Um, Owl Records from 77, late 70s, French free jazz, very cool. I think I showed this, I'm not going to show this, but Benny Maupin, Jewel in the Wild, I don't know why that's in there. Or Jewel in the Lotus, sorry, Jewel in the Lotus, I found it in the wild. <laughs> Jewel in the Lotus, um, I think I showed that though. I haven't shown this though. Elvin Jones, Midnight Walk, never had this, finally picked it up, um, very solid hard bob, as you can imagine from Elvin Jones, always great. Um, but Dollar Brand really stands out on this for me. Um, he really incorporates his South African sort of Cape Verde style. Um, Hank, Hank Mobley too. Fantastic solos from Hank Mobley on this. Um, yeah, great, great stuff. On Atlantic from 67 or 66, something like that. But obviously John Coltrane's main drummer, but definitely um, doing the thing on his own here leading his own group, so just fantastic. Um, Elvin Jones really can't go wrong in my opinion. Midnight Walk from, I think it's 66, something like that. This one, I'm pretty sure I showed um, a few videos back maybe, but I was listening to it again. Rubia Dorothy Ashby. Just fantastic, an Ashby classic, laid back, groovy, an exotic, um, yeah, 1970 on the cadet label, just great, great stuff, jazz, harpist, Dorothy Ashby, this is probably one of my favorite, one, definitely not probably, definitely one of my favorites from her, um, yeah, check it out if you don't know it, but I'm sure you guys probably know it. Uh, 
show that. New York Art Quartet, didn't have a clean copy of this. Um, not the best record musically, but really, really cool. Perfect example of sort of atonal, unstructured free jazz from the ESP disc label, um, 1965. Definitely really cool um, beginnings to this label and just the group of musicians, Roswell Rudd, John Takai, Louis Sorrell, Milford Graves, and Leroy Jones. Um, great record, and I always love ESP's packaging. They have the coolest covers, in my opinion. Some of the best stuff. Um, the music's great, okay, it's good, but it's not great. I mean, so, I don't know, some people might disagree with me, but I think there's better records on ESP disc, although this is still really cool. A couple of tracks are really good, and a couple of them are just okay, but mostly improvised, so, you know, what do you expect? I think I re remember liking that record a lot more when I first heard it, but maybe I just kind of fell out of love with it. Um, picked this up from Clifford, uh, Tal Swami, uh, Instagram, and everywhere else, basically. Um, very cool. Um, Pal, Pal, I'm not sure how to pronounce that name, but Pal Meckleberg. Ashoka Suite, 1970, on Metronome. It's basically great Danish avant-garde jazz. Cool label and a very cool cover, too. Only listened to this once, but really enjoyed it when I did. Don't have a lot of Danish and just Norwegian stuff in general, Scandinavian jazz. I don't have a lot of that stuff, so always nice to add another one from the collection. Um, thank you, Clifford. Another one that I think is from the same area of the world, maybe. Um, Funk Fusion, also on Metronome, although a different Metronome label. This is from 76, that one's from 70. Um, very cool Funk Fusion. The name is Hex. Hex. I think this <laughs> translates to Bitch Milk, if I'm not um, wrong. So Bitch Milk, Eskimo Heat is the name of the album. If that's how it's correctly translated to English, that's what it says on Discog, so I'm just going to go with that. Um, but yeah, great Funk Fusion, very tight arrangements. Just really cool. Um, another one I've wanted for a while, I just haven't picked up until now, so finally pulled the plug on it. A lot of copies have just been overseas and didn't want to pay for that plane ticket, so. These next two records are really cool. Also been on the want list for a long time. Um, Teomir Asan Asanovich. Um, so both of his records, both of his solo records from 1974. Michael Zem, I'm sorry I'm mispronouncing that. Zemmel Joe and then Pop, which sounds a lot easier, but very cool. One of the best um, Yugoslavian keyboard players, in my opinion, um, very good. Um, specifically, the Hammond organ was a specialty. Um, original member of a bunch of great Yugoslavian groups, Time, um, two great jazz rock bands, Yugoslavia as well. I think one of them was named September. One of them was like Yugoslavian pop selection or something like that. But Great jazz funk, jazz rock in both of these, and showing off his uh, his keyboard skills, Hammond skills as well. Um, just great, great stuff. Very funky. Highly recommend these both of these if you could find them. They're both a little bit pricey, unfortunately, but um, I was lucky enough to find them both from one seller who was selling them both. Got a decent deal, so. I'm pretty sure I showed this record in the past, but showing again because I was listening to it. Billy Banks Survival Ensemble, New York Collage. This is an upgrade copy. Um, Billy Banks' first album, um, both inside and out, sort of jazz. You could definitely see where his roots are on here. Um, very, very cool. Always been a fan of Billy Bang. So, uh, this is from 78, I think, on Anima Records. But I highly recommend this, check it out. Even if you're not into violin in your um, jazz, highly recommend this. Great, great, free jazz, loft jazz, whatever you want to call it. Um, a record I'm not too familiar with, I just got this recently, Moon on the Water, um, self-titled, I believe this is Italian, 1985. 
sort of like a cool jazz fusion, new age, tribal at times, ambient record. Um, I don't even know how to describe this really. It's kind of all over the place. Definitely a um, Chris Cole record, if I have to say anything about it. But very cool. He has this already. So I was gonna send this to him maybe in a trade or BCLT, but he has it, so I'll probably keep him this one because I really enjoy it as well. It's a very inter interesting record. Moon on the Water, um, self-titled 1985. Just really cool sort of new age ambient stuff. Um, found this just on a whim in an old antique store. Um, the Music Improvisation Company, self-titled. This is sealed, um, 1970. I believe I've shown this in the past as well. I have a copy of this, but got a sealed one, so I'll probably resell this or do whatever. But really cool to find that. Um, fantastic UK jazz lineup on there. If you don't know this, pretty much out there jazz, but really cool to find that sealed for pretty cheap considering. Um, I also found this at that same place. So this is the one I knew was there. Um, Hans Gunther Waur, um, and then Gunther Baby Summer Dedication. This is on the FMP label from 1982. Um, really cool mix of like classical music and contemporary Euro jazz, I guess. Um, FMP is one of those hit or miss labels for me. A lot of stuff is good, but some of it is just okay and kind of either too, either too strange for me or too out there, but this one hits it pretty much spot on. Like I said, a nice mix of like classical and jazz, just the jazz is just right, so it just works. Um, I don't know too much about either of these players, except for what I sampled online, so but really cool. Glad I found that. Antique store find. The last couple here, um, I'm pretty sure I showed this one as well, but another upgrade copy, Tony Scott, Zen, um, music for Zen meditation. I didn't say Zen meditation, but a very well-known sort of cheap heat record um classical japanese new age maybe i don't know very relaxing record on the verve label from mid 60s just very dope um it's on youtube as well if you want to sample it but check it out it's been talked about quite a bit this was cool this is one i never had i don't have a lot of um trombone records so I'm gonna grab this one, Curtis Fuller. This is Soul Trombone and the Jazz Clan, 1962 on Impulse, classic Impulse, sort of hard bop, post bop, um, trombone led. Like I said, I don't have a lot of, I don't think I have any Curtis Fuller actually, especially with him as a leader. I'm sure I have stuff with him on other records, but Freddie Hubbard is on this, Jamie Merritt, uh, Cedar Walton, Jimmy Heath, Jimmy Cobb, and GT Hogan, which I believe is a drummer, but I'm not too familiar with him. Um, really cool. It's like classic impulse stuff. I think this is a mono, not an AM par, but um, oh, it is an AM par actually. <laughs> no, didn't even know that. So I guess it is an AM par. Really cool. Soul Trombone. Definitely would like to check out some more Curtis Fuller stuff. So, um, used to play trombone when I was younger. I was in school, never stuck with it. Kind of disappointed I didn't, but, um, after hearing this, I kind of wish I did. So, I don't know. Really cool, though. And the last one here, I just picked up today. Um, might as well just show it, because it's still sealed. But this was a really cool find. Uh, Harumi, self-titled. Oh, sorry about the glare. Harumi, 1968 on a Verve Forecast. Just, I knew this record. Um, never had it, but very interesting. Like, psych rock, psych pop, Eastern folk, experimental music. Um, basically, this guy, Harumi, kind of recorded a couple albums and then kind of disappeared into the cosmos um, very interesting man definitely um, check out some samples on this recorded or recorded or produced by Tom Wilson I think yeah produced by Tom Wilson so I don't know too much about this other than I just found it and I grabbed it especially when I saw it was sealed really cool it is starting to come a little bit open open there on the on the scene but still Really cool, um, iconic cover. I think a lot of people know this cover. The music's really interesting as well, sort of all over the place. So I would say psych rock, if anything, but it's much more than that. So Harumi, self titled. So I want to try to keep this short. Um, I think it's just, we're at just about 20 minutes. So that's it. 
kind of tired after that, but be back soon with more records. Like I said, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, it's starting to get warm out, almost June, so talk to you guys later. Peace.